Hello, this is Traz, and uh, you're watching us play Conan Exiles. Uh, Tintin did record an intro to this video, but the audio is gone. So we're just going to cut to the part of the video he recorded where that actually had audio. Uh, I don't believe you're missing much, just him messing around with sorcery again. So yeah, go on with the video. Alright, so we have 20% uh, corruption now, so I'm going to see what this other one that I couldn't do does. Uh, which is the escalates. Ah, okay, so harvest and recalls minerals in an area around the caster. Channel pure darkness and terror to surround your being. And summon molten magma from... Okay, let's do that one, see what this does. Oh, that is pretty cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was that's pretty cool, though. Amazing. Okay. Let's, um, can I build a bridge up there, I wonder? So, let's have a look. Shoot! Okay, so I can build it halfway up and probably climb the rest, I would say. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go and put all this. That resource gathering one is pretty cool. Um, I'm a little bit over encumbered. So um, I have extended the base a little bit. Uh, it's not the finished product. We will be, uh, I obviously need to fix up um, this part over here. Um, but we have put platforms around the outside of the base as a defense mechanism we'll put arches on top of there for when the purge happens uh, my plan is, is to have down in the bottom area just where all of our animal tames will go just to keep the top area free for um any building um necess necessities that we might have um as you can see my corruption is quite high it's uh 50.76 percent corruption um, we killed a couple more Thrall, got their bloods, um, I forget where I put it now, I think I put it in one of the horses or the elephants down there. And I think our next task will be to probably go and try and face off in the cellar, uh, dungeon. Um, because in order to progress with the sorcery we need weathered skulls. And weathered skulls. We only have four and we need 15 so i know in the dungeon there is uh skeletons and the skeletons generally will drop the weathered skulls so what i'm going to do now is go and get rid of my corruption because i don't currently need it because i'm not going to be using um any sorcery uh while i'm in this dungeon so i've moved my dancers over here there's one here so I'll get my corruption. Get rid of this. Traz has joined me. He is off. Um... What are you doing, Traz? Killing archers. Ah, that's right. Getting named archers for our uh, defenses for when the purge happens. Um, this is a sandstorm. Uh, I am just going to fix up my armor. Um, probably upgrade it because it's medium and... Um, yeah, I, I, I definitely need a lot more armor, so uh, probably upgrade my armor, fix it up, get my weapons ready, uh, get some food, some healing, and I will bring you back when we're outside the dungeon, and I'll show you where it all is. Alright guys, welcome back, so we're here, um, I got myself some new armor, the Pictish armor, um, I like the look of it, and it was better than the one that I already had, uh, so we're here at the cellar dungeon, um, it is right here in Sepamaru. Just right here. Traz is on his way over now. Um, all you got to do here. Um, 
is go up to the door and you'll see a little pop-up return to surface. I'm not sure why it says return to surface when you're actually going in the dungeon. So, um, yeah, we're going to go in and see what we can do in here. Um, this is actually the same place you get Seth's Trunction, so you would have seen in a previous episode with Traz. Um, my follower seems to have gone missing. Still outside, apparently. Yeah, they should teleport. Oh, here he is. Uh, so I'm going to set my guy onto Seth so we don't take too much damage. And can aggro him. Seth hits pretty hard. Yeah. He's also a pushover. He also has the traction drop. Ooh, we've got... Three of those, well, four including the one I've got in my pockets right now. Very good. Um, nice. So yeah, we're not going to go through the whole killing Seth because uh, Traz will be... Oh, hello. Let's go, boys. Nope, not today, sir. Oh, this Seth. Yeah. There we go. Uh, anything interesting on them? So this is the dungeon. Um, it's been a while since I've done this, so it might take me a minute to remember what to do. Isn't that much interesting on them? Just basic shit. You remember to grab the rust those pieces of steel hidden around here as well. Yeah. Doing all the tiny boxes. It's literally just this place is literally just full of mobs. Um, there are often little treasure chests. There's a little book here. What is this description? Blah blah blah. Uh, we'll take some of the gold. We'll take the silver, we'll take the steel, we'll take the iron. The rest of it is trash. Heart of a Hero, if I remember correctly, for some other items. Two chests at the back here. And got another gold bar, some silver coins, and gold coins, and a gold bar. Very good. And I forgot to fill my water tank. That's alright. Alright. Let's go this way, see what's over here. Don't think there's anything over here, actually. Oh yeah, here we go. Look, these are the little um, crates here with the Kahari steel in it. So you can just you pick up the yeah, entire. You've got this, the entire. You've got this little crate. book here as well. The who? Sorry. There's a book right here. Uh, I may have gotten it. Let me just double check. Oh no, I haven't come over this way yet. Uh, age worn scroll. Yep. Perfect. Let's see, got on him. Bark. We don't need bark. All right. Let's uh, progress further down. I'm going to set... Um, will you just set your follower on him instead of uh, going in and just see what damage they're doing together? Um, can we... I don't know. I'm stuck. Oh no, I almost fell down then. Oh, hello. I can't get over there because you're, you're rising away. Yeah, I'm moving now in one second once I've killed this skelly that's on me. Oh, fuck hell. I'll follow you back in because my guy fell off the balcony. 
Double Whippered Skull. Doing alright with these. Yeah, we need all them, all we can get. Come on, Ulrich. That's it. There's a boss, a uh, little. Uh, not a boss, but. Mini boss. Yeah, that's what I meant. Mini boss. So yeah, you get these um, glowing skeletons in here. Oh no, I did a, I did a die. I got too cocky. Oh, hello, Seth. You spawn all the way back there? Yeah. Give me a chance to kill Seth again. Oh, another truncheon. Oh, nice. Uh, I may die as well. I need to get my follower out of there. There are Jenkins. Okay, that, that um went well. That's interesting. An incense box. Ooh, nice. Um, if I remember, how is your follower going? I'm gonna add him to the party. Oh, for God's sake. Don't go too far just yet. I need to get rid of all this meat out of my inventory. I'm right beside you. Oh my god, Ulrich's gonna die. Oh no, oh no, Ulrich's gonna die. No, 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 no. Come back, Ulrich. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Don't let him kill you. Ah! He died. Boss is up there. We just going to Jenkins, or? Uh, we're going to have to, but uh, I think I'm going to send in the followers. Send in the Bob. My follower won't go. I don't know why. Mine will. Bob is no longer following you. Why is Bob following you? Get Bob following after this. Oh, he killed me. So a few days have passed since we tried and failed to beat the wine cellar. Uh, in preparation for another attempt, I have been training uh, followers and um, also been farming the sand reaper queen thing down there but you know obviously it's a very it's a very it's a world boss it's pretty powerful so what i've done i've uh, made this little platform thing here what you want to do you want to put two two foundations high and then i've made this like a uh, little star shape at the top and uh if i stand over here and i grab my bow i need to wait for them to uh, come into, into sight. There we go. Now you want to stand right here, and then if she if she starts attacking, you know you know it's working out because um, you wanted to keep it trying to attack you. You're not going to get hit because of how high you are. If you try and do this when she's not attacking, uh, probably about halfway through. Uh, she's gonna end up going back down that way. So um she actually managed to hit me at one time. But um generally that's that doesn't happen. That's the first time I've actually seen that happen. But yeah, you just you just keep firing. And uh you know, eventually she'll go down. There we go. So you wanna want to uh, butcher them once they're dead and then they should get a skeleton key and uh, quite a few toxic glands so if we have a look down here we can see a chest right there 
Um, so you just want to let me take care of these guys first of all. Uh, this sword I'm using actually is from one of these chests here. And there we go, an impaler. That's a legend legendary weapon. We can probably improve that, make it slightly better. But you know, you can do this like every every 30 minutes. Uh the chest will respawn. And then you can uh, get yourself a nice little haul of legendary weapons. If any of you are sort of interested in how to train up your followers, I can show you that now. I've actually been doing it in the wine cellar and been racking up a lot of withered skulls and uh, fragments of power. So if I, if I get them to follow me, I can bring them to the wine cellar and give you a quick uh, rundown of what I'm doing. So generally you, you want you want the, the bulk of the work to be done by your follower. This one's actually level 11, but when I started doing this, uh, she was only level 1. So, um, you know, with some heavy armor and uh, the legendary weapon we've got from the Sand Reaper Queen, uh, she's a pretty powerful ally to have. You, What you want to do, you want to just keep going through. Uh, these, the, the human enemies aren't necessarily the best to train with so but it's just good to try and take them out rather than trying to run past them because they do um sometimes give you some pretty good goodies uh, in the past i've actually received um star metal off from them uh which you know was a very good surprise uh i'm going to be looking for actual the, the meteorites to get them properly later on so if we have a look down here we can see the bridge to the area with the undead enemies. Uh, we're going to want to jump over that. It, um, we'll, we'll, we'll take these guys out first. You just want to, you just want to jump over over the bridge. Uh, you can probably make it without the double jump, uh, it's just easier to do so with it. So a good a good place to train, right down here. You can see that little uh, worship, undead worshipper over there. You just want to send your attacker to go, your uh, follower to go attack. And um, just wait a second, don't go rushing in just yet. You want your follower to tank, uh, you know, all the undead. And then once once uh, once they're all down there, you can just go down and just pick them off from the back. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of XP flying around right now, and the follower just leveled up. So my uh, yeah, sort of losing a little bit of geo really right there. So what I want to do, I've actually got some legendary weapon repair kits in my in my pocket, so I can just stick that on and repair them that way because I can't actually, I don't have the expertise to repair them normally so you want to do that before the legendary weapon completely gets broken otherwise you won't be able to repair it in such a way being a bit adventurous you see this guy in in the distance there he's uh he's he's one of the little mini bosses of this dungeon he's pretty easy to take down but he's also it's also very easy for uh, for you to get downed by him if you're if you're a bit too cocky so you just you want to make sure your follower is tanking them and you just want to hit them from behind um well let's just say you don't really don't want your followers to just do the entire fight you, you really want to help them out but um if, if you're uh, if you're if you're fast enough, you can quickly dodge out of the way of your attacks, and then you know you get like a really big hit of XP for that. And they, uh, they always have um, fragments of power on them. Good idea to butcher these as well, because sometimes you'll get a uh, witch fire powder from them. You're gonna see a couple of these uh, these guys around. 
just, you just want to keep with the same strategy. They all have different weapons. Uh, this one's got a pole arm, which is not great. But you know, as long as your followers doing the tanking, you should be fine. When you get up to here, you'll you'll find the uh, the boss room right up here. Uh, what you could actually do is just go all the way back and just fight your way back to the other end and get even more points for your follower. Okay, so what I'm making now is hardened leather, which uh, requires uh, leather, thick leather, our chemical base and oil. And what I'm going to use for these, I'm going to stick them in here and then I can make uh, that one. Effective heavy padding. So I need elephant hide and twine. I should have elephant hide in here. Yeah, I think I might have put the elephant hide in here somewhere. There's the elephant hide. Okay. So now I can make that. I should be able to make the next set of armor. So if we have a look at the comparisons between both sets, we've got this one which is like 80 armor value, and then this one like 200, so it's a pretty big jump. I'm hoping to make the uh, Terranium um, set because uh, if it's anything like the, uh, the previous version it will increase my agility which will uh, increase the damage of my uh, sword. Okay so I've made the new armor, I've added uh, the, I've added my customizations to it using the illusions and the die. I've gone up to 1561 from around 6700 which it was before. Now I can increase that even higher. So we're going to make a set. Let's make 10 of them actually because then we can use them for another set later on. So we have five of them now. So if I take them out here, I should be able to place them on. No, I have to take it. I have to take it all off first. Okay, so one, two, four, and five. So that's brought me up by another hundred armor right there. So it's not too bad going. Ready? Nope, yeah. we're not. Well, he's got he's got he's got our attention, so I'm sending this DB. Mind out. Yeah. What a pushover! Oh, I got us. I got a basic truncheon. That was very nice of them to give us that. That'll go well inside the uh, this this uh, construction bench. Disenchantment bench. Yeah, I'm thinking of something else. Oh shit! Is that a corrupted? There's a big fuck off one. Come come down this way. Come oh, down this I see way. him. I see him. Come down him. here. Come down here. Come down here. Watch this. Look at this. Look at this guy right here. Oh, the boss one, yeah. yeah. I might die here because I'm blocked in. I'm okay. Yeah, this guy really, really goes down quickly. Well, in comparison. Oh, there's another water skin in there for you. Yeah. Let's have a look in the chest. Coins. Ew, coins. Yeah, luckily the spider, the, sp the demon spider has like a very, very wide, no, a very low, what's the word? A very short field of vision. So it doesn't, it, it won't, it won't. Like, oh uh, yeah, this thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah it this doesn't, thing it doesn't, it doesn't sort of like aggro on you unless you get right up in his face. Well, Bob's going to go right up in his face. Well, like right now. Well, like right now. Yeah. But I'm still ah, he's all right. The... Bob's all right. Yeah, yeah this thing uh, lets out quite a lot of corruption as well. Can you... Would you call this a spider or would you call this like a really fucked up centaur? 
Uh, a bit of both. Yeah. Um, come, Bob. Bob, you're low. Come over here. Thanks. Oh, he's not. Oh, jeez, I was looking at your health. Yeah, yeah, I... Give me some echo oh. and skeleton key. There's a chest, stupid one, like right here. This has got shit in it. And we got an axe of the lion. Hmm, okay. In a way, I'm kind of glad that I've forgotten a lot of the game because then it's it it's like it's a new thing for me. <laughs> you experience that shit. Oh yeah, 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 I remember this now. Yeah. Well, I tend to forget everything anyway, so. I at the moment, I'm making a rush start guide, which will be on YouTube very soon. Um, and I've to and I started the game, and I realised I totally forgotten how to play from the start. So, uh, very good idea making a guide when I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, um... like these fires, haven't we? You. We light the fires. Oh, hello. I don't mind for inviting you to this party. Off you go, Bob. Watch out. Damn. This guy right, might have stuff. quite a lot of issues when shopping for his gloves. Like nowhere is going to have it in his size. He's going to have to get everything custom made. That's why he's probably naked. Alright, here we are, guys. We're at the end boss fight of the wine cellar. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you can see the like the gaps in the blue. The blue is yeah. where you don't want to stand. Yeah, I see that. Okay, uh, uh, can let's try and see if you can actually do it on your own, because I died. Got two copies. Wonderful. Um, How are you doing? Uh, I'm okay, actually. I need Bob to Coast get out of there, otherwise Bob is gonna die. Stop there. Yeah, I'm not gonna there. survive this. I don't think. Just uh, keep dodging, you're fine. Oh. I'm trying to I've not I don't know if I can save your follower. I'm trying to stay alive. Bob, what are you doing over there? Come over here, Bob. Bob. Stop it. Heal. Come over here. I got a bit cocky because I'm used to I'm used to dealing with that boss on my own. So when I have the followers, I'm like, this is gonna be easy. But what's it down to? Uh, half, less than half. Do you think you could take it? Potentially. Uh, if you back away, you should be able to get some heals in. I'm 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 alright for heals actually. I'm... Yeah, he's less than half. I should be able to do this as well. Yeah, uh, I'm assuming the other one is dying. Uh, the other one is dead, I'm afraid. I couldn't oh, okay. save her. I'm sorry. That's fine. I was uh, trading that one up for ultimate anyway, so... Bob, Bob, Bob. Bob, I need you to come here. I do not want you to die, Bob. Bob. No, Bob, no. Oh my god, Bob is going to die. Attack him. If you're going to die, you go down fighting. How's it looking? Uh, he is like very low. But I'm gonna die right now, I think. Well, I'm okay actually, but Bob's dead. Nope. Bob is dead. Well, you know, that is. So, it as. Happens. 
as you can see folks, Traz decided he wanted to die on me. I think it was a setup. Oh yeah, I was. I wanted to uh, raise your confidence so that you can solo the boss all on your own. Oh, stop it! Leave me alone, you fuckers. Oh, he got to the bit where they got the big group of people in there. I have about 40 of them on me. Oh, yeah, okay. And I'm trying to get where I can... I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to enter that area. Oh, he just spat at me, the dirty bastard. Ooh, no. Sorry, YouTube, for my language. Oh, I've said worse on that. Uh-oh, 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 get out of there. Woo! He's literally so fucking low. Oh my god. I can't even get a hit on him. I'm just gonna. Hopefully, you can get back in. Um, yeah, hopefully, I can. I don't know. Finish I know. Him off. Oh, I killed him. Okay. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> so, um, we didn't really get a chance to uh, give you as much of <laughs> much of a walkthrough on that one, guys. But um, as you can see, he, he he'll do these attacks that shine blue lights on the ground. You can see very clearly where those blue marks are going. Um, pretty much dodge through them, and you should be all right. And it's Traz's corpse. I'll take all this armor back. I'll take all that. Thank you. Where did Bob die? <laughs> There's Bob. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, things didn't go completely to plan. We lost two followers. Uh, totally not my fault. I did everything perfectly. I swear. Yeah. Totally um, wasn't Traz's fault. So hopefully next episode we're going to try and get some star metal from some meteorites. We already have some star metal, which I'm going to hopefully use to make a star metal pick so that we can get the biggest yield of star metal we can get at this exact moment in time so uh you know remember to like comment subscribe ring that notification bell and uh thanks for watching